why do I need to pay to have a civil servant, which is paid by my tax dollars, to come out here and look at this? So the government's telling me, I gotta cut these trees over here and pull them out because the dirt three feet from those trees is different than the dirt under those trees. I don't understand it, guys. Government's controlling. Government's controlling. Hey there, folks. This is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to another gorgeous day out here on the government-controlled Stony Ridge Farm. Yep, that's right. So we're going to talk a little bit about what's going on here. If you have never been to the channel, here's what we have. This is a fort, uh, excuse me, 50 by 112 foot shop building. This is going to be my permanent home. This is a barn dominium home and we're gonna be finishing this out. This is absolutely gorgeous. All wood joinery right here from Carolina Barn Builders. And this is our outdoor kitchen pavilion right here. So, so much to come here on the Stony Ridge Farm. Please subscribe, I'd love to have you back. What we've got to do today is talk about some ridiculousness that's gone on here on the Stony Ridge Farm. So let me kind of start this story explaining what's going on so far. So this is an agricultural building. This is an agricultural building with blueprinted plans. This is an agricultural building with blueprinted plans. All of what we have here on the Stony Ridge Farm are agricultural buildings aside from my little 14 by 80 mobile home that I bought to live on the cheap while I built my dream. My dream was to own a farm. My dream was to build a farm. My dream was to farm in a way that's in harmony with nature. And my dream is to live in this beautiful barn dominium. Guys, post comments. Tell me what you think about this. Tell me what you think about that idea. So I had to do something a little different from most people when it came to building this and getting permits for my septic system. My septic system will service this building. When I called and told them I needed a septic permit for an agricultural building, right, that would service a four bedroom house. In other words, I think I should and I do have the right to put as big of a septic system in here as I want. Right? Wouldn't you think that? Well, the first thing I got was a phone call from the local zoning office asking me what I was doing up here on my property. And the first thing that I said to them was, respectfully speaking, sir, I want to do everything within the bounds of the law, but I want you to know this, that you will not infringe upon my liberty. You will not infringe upon my liberty. Two days later, code enforcement's in my driveway coming up here because I quote unquote didn't have an electrical permit. Two days later, it took two days after I said, you will not infringe upon my pursuit of happiness, my life and my liberty. Within two days, they were coming to infringe on it. Two days after I said that. This kind of stuff makes people mad. This kind of stuff makes people realize how they're not free. This kind of stuff is ridiculous government control and overstepping bounds. This kind of stuff is not the freedom that I fought for in the military. It isn't, and it's not right. It's not right for a man like me to be able to build his farm and to get fussed at or overseen by some government entity to tell me what I can and cannot do. Now. Here's what I can and cannot do. Over there is an electrical um, transformer. That transformer feeds this building. Half of this building is going to be shop, garage, and half of this building is going to be a living quarters at some point. It is not a living quarters right now and I do not have a permit because I'm required to have a permit to occupy this building. It's called a certificate of occupancy. I have to ask the county if I can live in my own building, on my own property, on my own farm. They tell me where I can poop, they tell me where I can pee, they tell me where the water comes from, they tell me where the sewer goes, they tell me where the power goes, they tell me every single thing that I can do. Where does it stop? With the fish in my pond or with how many cows I can have on my property? Where does it stop, guys? Post comments, tell me what you think. We've got to speak out here. We've got to speak out. So. Coming out of this building is a pipe. The pipe is the drain pipe that will come out and will service the septic system for this building. It comes out and it terminates right there. My septic field, I cleared land for this. I cleared this land 
and I cleared this land for my septic field to go on. This is plenty of room for my septic field. As soon as they came out to test the land, they dug down in here. This is disturbed and this is undisturbed, right? Undisturbed land isn't as compacted as disturbed land. They went in here, I showed them where I wanted my septic system and they did not pass that. Instead, and this happened to me down at my mobile home, instead they went into the woods, into the woods. So here, and I left all these trees, this is where our hog pen's gonna be. These are all just about oak trees, red oaks, white oaks, all sorts of oak trees and pine trees in here. This is where my hogs are gonna be kept because I wanted acorns, I wanted acorn fed hogs. So I had some awesome meat, right? I should have the right to do that. What do you think? I think I should. Well, now my perk test failed in the, in the grassy spot where I was going to be. And he said, well, have you had livestock in here? Because that can affect, that can compact the soil. The cows have been in here for a week and a half. A week and a half, the cows have been in here. I've just built this fence. What do you think? Yeah, I've had li livestock in here and I've had livestock right there. It didn't make any difference. I'm sorry guys, I'm a little bit heated about this. So they failed this area right here. And they passed this area right here, which means I have to cut this 35, 40 year old oak, that 35, 40 year old oak, that 50 year old oak, all of these oak trees that, are, that you see right here have to be wiped clear so that I can put the septic system in, and hear me out, the septic system's gonna go right here. Where does poop roll? Where does water go? Downhill, right down the hill into the spot that I cleared out for my septic system. It's just absolutely unbelievable, guys. So now I cannot legally place my septic system here and I have but two options. Clear these trees and take out my beautiful forest. The government's making me take out my forest. I could run the septic leach field lines down through here, but what do roots do? They go to water. It's gonna ruin my septic field, so I have to do it. Or hire an engineer to come in and write an engineered plan here. When they came out to test for the perk test and I paid $450, $450 for a perk test and an authorization to construct. They came out with this little digging tool, they pulled up little samples of dirt and they crumbled it in their hands. I want a scientific experiment. I don't want a subjective experiment on my property. I want an objective. What is it? Objective. Maybe backwards. <laughs> I don't want a subjective. Subjective is what you think. Objective is using instrumentation. So my option here is, and I want you guys to tell me what you think I should do. My option is hire an engineer and get it passed and put my septic system where I want it or cut my beautiful oak trees and be forced to follow the king's rule. What do you think I should do, guys? Post the comments down there. Tell me what you think I should do. Should a man be able to build what he wants without being infringed upon and tread upon by the government. Now I understand this is a septic system and I don't want to affect the watershed inappropriately. I want to do the right thing. I went to do the right thing and code enforcement came. I went to do the right thing and they put my septic system in the woods so I got to take out my trees. I went to do the right thing. I talked to the zoning and planning folks. What other troubles am I gonna have when it comes to putting this building up? What are the other troubles that I'm gonna have? Am I gonna have to have somebody come in here and inspect every time I put in a two by four? I don't know. Is this overstepping guys? You tell me, shouldn't a man be able to build what he wants? And people are saying, I I've got lots of comments on this. Well, it's to protect the next guy that buys your place. That's why you have home inspection. That's a bunch of, bunch of bull. Well, it's to protect the insurance company, and I will agree there. This is guided by bureaucracy, insurance companies, and money. Money, money. I paid $450 for authorization to, to dig a hole on my own property. $450 for a civil servant to come and fail it and come back and inspect it once it's done. Why do I need to pay to have a civil servant, which is paid by my tax dollars, to come out here and look at this. Why do I need to do that? The reason code enforcement was called is because the people that inspected the building passed the building, power was turned on, but it didn't get appropriately recorded. 
the repercussions were code enforcement came up here. They know I'm going to do it right. I like the code enforcement guy. I like my local sheriff's office. I like my local people. But I don't like to be tread upon. Do you think this is reasonable? What do you think I should do? Get an engineer? Take out my trees? What should I do? Beautiful backdrop in the spring. This is gorgeous. What should I do, guys? Thank you so much for joining me here on the Stony Ridge Farm. If you're thinking about stuff like this, if you're thinking about building a place like this, be sure you pay the king's ransom so that you can do it. You buy the property, you pay the taxes on the property, and then you beg to do the things that you want to do. And I just don't simply think that that's fair at all. I don't think it's right. And it's not the freedom that I fought for. And I don't think our founding fathers, I think they're rolling over in their graves right now. I, I just honestly do. A man should be able to build a cabin on his own property and not be messed with. Thank you guys. Take care. Have a great day. We'll see you in the next Stony Ridge Farm video. We'll keep you well updated on this. Yo, come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life here and sweet. That's the way it's supposed to be Stony Ridge.